Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Top 5. Best RAMs for gaming. Namibur 5. Team. XTREM ARGB 16GB. The team's dream ARGB RAM kit we are got here for review isn't your standard DDR4 RAM. It's one of the very few 3600 MHz kits that come with a cause latency of just 14. That puts it at the forefront of low latency RAM favored by gaming PCs, especially AMD or in rigs. As such, it takes the top spot as our pick for the best RAM for gaming. Not all that long ago, a kit as well rounded on both price and performance would have been a distant dream. However, a recent RAM price crash and an increasing process maturity in DDR4 production mean kits such as this can often be had for around $100. DDR4 memory really is maturing nicely. Just a couple of years ago, a decent DDR4 to 3200 kit was regarded as high end, but as time ticks on, 3200 MHz is now the baseline for a decent gaming system. You could even argue that 3600 MHz is the current baseline for Ryzen 5000 and Intel 12th gen systems for decent performance without any significant price premium, with 4000 MHz and above the new sweet spot. Namibur 4. Corsair Dominator Platinum. Corsair's Dominator Platinum has been one of the best gaming RAM kits for quite some time now. Its sleek exterior, patented DHX cooling technology, and unrivaled performance has made it a formidable flagship over the years. First teased at CES, Corsair is now introducing the new Dominator Platinum RGB, with the same best-in-class performance and RGB lighting, using the company's new Capilex LEDs. The Dominator Platinum RGB takes the same best-in-class performance as the original and adds higher clocked SCUS and 12 individually addressable Capilex RGB LEDs. The new LEDs are brighter and more efficient than previous iterations and are only available from Corsair. Combined with Corsair's IQ software, the Dominator Platinum RGB has become the best RGB option out there and also the best high-end performance kit. Namibur 3. G-Skill Trident Z Neo. G-Skill's Trident Z RGB RAM has been a mainstay of memory guide for years now, and it's no surprise the company's Trident Z Neo series has also earned a spot here. Like the original Trident Z RGB series, the Trident Z Neo comes equipped with brilliant RGB lighting done in a very tasteful manner. Each module has five individually addressable RGB LEDs that can light up any PC build beautifully. But the real sell for this memory kit is how it's are optimized for AMD or is in dot this set of Neo RAM from G-Skill runs at 3600 MHz which puts it in the sweet spot for red team gaming PCs for low latency operation. As a result, this is definitely a more budget-friendly option for mid-range builds with some flair, especially if you can't afford to stretch to the Corsair Dominator kits. Similar to the overall performance of your Risen PC build, the Trident Z Neo offers a fantastic bang for your buck. You can get a 32GB kit for under $150, which means you can also easily upgrade your machine to an, admittedly unnecessary, 64GB of high-speed DDR4 memory down the road. If you're using your PC for more than gaming, then perhaps that large pool of memory will come in handy, just don't expect much out of it for gaming alone. Namibur 2. G-Skill Ripjaws V16GB. The G-Skill Ripjaws V is a much more mundane set of sticks for your PC. That's not necessarily a bad thing, sometimes you simply want to stuff your budget system with some RAM and close it back up, never to be seen again. These Ripjaws are great for a capacity upgrade, or if you don't care much for flashing lights inside of your Build.The G-Skill Ripjaws V is a second-generation DDR4 kit from G-Skill, and it's clear the company listened to the feedback and criticisms from the customers. 
This series is more affordable, faster, and has a less tacky heatsink than its predecessor. We found the 16GB Ripjaws V Opens in New Tab kit to be the best option for a decent capacity kit that features great performance right out of the box. The Ripjaws V did exceptionally well in our benchmarks without any overclocking, beating several kits in the 2400MHz range. Despite this, you can still achieve an overclock to 2800-3000 MHz with a simple bump in voltage. You might even reach 3200 MHz or higher, though you're likely to hit some stability issues. Namibur 1. G-Skill Trident Z Royal. Known for superb bin memory and high-speed kits, G-Skill's Trident Z Royal blends 4000 MHz, effective, operation with a highly stylized design. These dims are just asking to be put center stage in a showpiece gaming PC build and it would be far from a slouch either. ATDDR4 to 4000 with 15 to 16 16 timings. The Trident Z Royal kit is probably the perfect combination of high frequency, low timings, and broad platform compatibility. It does require 1.5V to operate at that spec which is at the high end for a default voltage but fear not, it will be able to run year after year. Best Check up the video link description please. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe my channel and hit the like button.